what is up guys welcome back to another video so this is the open steam client and i just finished downloading a build if you don't know how to do that you're gonna have to log into github like i did here you're gonna have to go to actions you're gonna have to click the newest build and you're gonna have to download here okay and once we're done doing that just give me one second i need to pull this somewhere safe that i can work on it I'm gonna put that to my documents so once we have it downloaded, we can right click extract and extract again. Once we head inside of here, we're going to find the open steam client executable, which is this guy right here. As you can see, it's already marked as executable and we're going to run it. And I need to close out steam before we do this. Now it may say it may seem or it may say that uh, distros other than Linux are not supported and that is correct i'm actually going to close this down okay i'm going to open the terminal instead so now we can set it up and the reason i'm setting the debug command is so i can open proton games now this is being built in net and avalonia which is a gui application thing it's the same thing that uh raging here uses and you can see it's downloading everything necessary. It's extracting packages. This will let you actually log in, which is great. And it's using the Steam API, which means nothing goes to the person that made it. It's only a client. Now, you may be asking, what's the point? Well, the point is, you know, just to randomly open source everything. Now, CEF, which is a chromium uh type thingy same as the browser but it's extremely you know dumbed down and stripped clean it's called cef is what makes the steam client run and it's also what uh causes a few issues in a nutshell for people so yeah look at that we can play dead island 2 from here isn't that cool now we had to add the debug command so we can play Proton games. So if I needed to, I can just hit play. When we go to console, you can see that it's, uh, hopefully it's gonna run the actual thing instead of taking its sweet time, which it does, it's generating libraries. This is a good way to see how Steam actually works in a nutshell. Now you cannot play VAC games on here, all right? But you can play games nonetheless. So look, I got a game to play, yay whether it actually functions or not is another question because I don't remember what version of Proton I was using. And this game is very picky with its Proton versions. So by the looks of it, uh, oh, we did get it to run. There we go. And going by the black background, it's using Proton Experimental. So it's not gonna render properly. It happens. I'm gonna Alt F4 out of there and we're gonna have to have a little more conversations about this so uh if i go to install this it'll ask you where you want to install it here here i'm gonna install it here you go to downloads you can see that it's not doing anything we go to console though you can see that it is doing things and if we go to mission control or mission center which is an application i highly recommend you'll see that it's actually downloading things. Pretty cool, huh? Do I recommend using this right now? No, not unless you're willing to do testing and report things and, you know, put in the effort to get this to a point where, I don't know, it's on par with the Steam client. Because I would very much like to replace the Steam client as a whole because that thing uses a ton of RAM. I don't think anybody really noticed, but it can use up to two gigs of RAM for me, which is kind of ridiculous for just a game launcher because even Epic uses less and so does Heroic. It's just honestly unacceptable most times. And there's constant graphical uh, bugs and issues that weren't there before that are there now. Sometime back in February, there was an update to CEF, which caused NVIDIA graphical glitches. So the NVIDIA graphical glitches are actually a Steam problem, which is kind of interesting. Anyway, I just wanted to do a short video on this. I'll leave a link for it in the description below. Remember, you need to log into GitHub to be able to download 
be executable. Don't forget to subscribe. We do tons of Linux stuff. I'll see you guys next time.